Welcome to United by Trucks. Today, no, we're not taking a look at the 67 Wildcat camper I just got, although we're probably going to show you some cool stuff we're going to be doing to it, but we're taking a look at some of the first gen C10s that you guys submitted, and man, these are some really, really cool trucks. We got Cummins powered short beds, bag trucks, we've got long bed trucks, we got stock trucks. Really excited to show you these first gen C10s in this episode of Submit Your Truck. And if you want to see more first gen C10s or any other trucks, tell your buddies to submit their truck to United by Trucks. We've got a link down in the description that tells you exactly how to do that. Appreciate you guys for keeping this series going. We're having a lot of fun with it. Now, let's jump into this episode of Submit Your Truck. My 65 C10, it's on a Porter built drop number seven up front. In the back, custom step notch, 70s blazer tank, fuel lines from hot rod fuel hose, dash six AN supply and return, air management, AccuAir Endo VT five gallon, E-level, dual Viair 485 compressors, exhaust, two and a half inch all the way through with an X pipe into Orla S mufflers, all stainless steel, Dog dish caps all the way around, 15 inch steel wheels, early 70s, that clear disc brakes. Interior, low car shifter, forever sharp steering wheel, custom kicks, Dakota digital dash, Android tablet for a radio. On the seat, two JLW10s. Big window cab, long box, patina, engine, transmission, 5.3 LS with a 4 L60. It's got a sloppy stage two camshaft, pack 12, 18 springs. Speed engineering headers. Some headlights off Amazon. Yeah, thanks for watching. Well, here she is, 1964 Chevy C10, fleet side long bed. It's got a inline six 250 GM motor, restored back in well 20 years ago. Still got some things to do. Got to get new tires and. She's not 4x4, of course. I <laughs> uh, plan on lifting her a little bit, throwing some meaner tires on, redoing the inside, getting an updated dash and all that. I don't think I'll go back original. And just doing some upkeep on her. She's pretty much done. My granddad did all the work before he passed, so I just got to clean it up and a little bit of TLC, and she'll be good. But uh, this was a really awesome, really awesome gift from him, and I wanted to share it with you guys because you know I don't know, I don't know if many people my age have the chance of owning something like this. So uh, you know, figure this will show a little bit of respect from a granddad and appreciation. But thanks, guys. Thought I'd shoot a quick video. My 1966 long bed C10. It's currently on air ride. This is in the aired out position. No C notch in the back. The control arms in the front have been cupped. It is still sitting on the uh, drum brake spindles. I do have drum, uh, still have the drum brakes, but I do have a disc brake conversion kit I want to install. Uh, just need to get some wheels because the drum brake wheels do not work with uh, disc brake calipers. Recently freshened up the gauges. Didn't change any of the gauges, just added a uh, factory style tack. So, and then it's kind of cleaned up all the gauges, needles, painted them up. Uh, still got the FM radio, the original, it works. The gauges down there. Added some uh, shoulder harness seat belts. Seat's been replaced, it's a LMC seat cover. Uh, all weather stripping has been replaced. Uh, it's an all original drivetrain. Still got the original three speed in it on the tree. 
However, I pulled the 283 out and installed one of these rare small block Chevy 350s. These are hard to find. Everybody's going to LS nowadays, so I stuck old school back in it because it was an easier swap, cheaper. I was able to use all the brackets, uh, pulleys and all that stuff, manifolds. It's got a small cam, little Edelbrock, four barrel intake. And yes, they do make an intake with that uh, breather tube on it. Future upgrades, there's replacing this radiator because it can't keep up with the uh, Texas summer heats very well. Especially in stop and go. And uh, get everything I need to do the disc brake swap. Other than that, there she is, guys. What is up, guys? This is United by Trucks, and today... Oh, wait a minute. We're getting featured on United by Trucks. So go ahead and send him in a video and show him what, what you're working on and what your truck is. I'm Clay Gwynn and this is my 66 C10, C20, technically. Got a 12 valve Cummins, diesel, twin turbo. Uh, currently moving some setups around. Uh, installing some slosh tubs. So I had to move turbos around so I wouldn't have to cut up the tubs too bad. but. Finally smoothed out this firewall here, made it all look nice. Uh, I'm running CPP lure control arms, uh, rack and pinion, made my own bracket for that. Getting ready to uh, switch everything over to Michigan Metalworks upper and lower control arms because it moves the track width in one inch and it's also running the CPP modular drop spindles and that even sucks the wheels in three quarters of an inch yep truck is a c20 technically used to be eight lug all the way around i changed changed it all over to five lug got a four nine inch rear up underneath of it it has been narrowed a total of three inches i believe because the plan was to run some big wide wheels with some nasty tires, but never got around to that. I'm installing some Resto Mod Air. Uh, completely cut the whole bottom of the dash apart so I can have places for vents. There's vents there, controls, uh, steering column goes there. Uh, I'm currently getting ready to paint the whole inside of this cab. I'm running AccuAir air management. The Indo VT, not the CVT. Uh, Detroit D-Town smoothies. Uh, I had some pinstriping done at LST from Gooch Customs. Truck used to be a long bed. I cut it down into a short bed. Uh, I even cut the bed down to make it match. Truck used to have a, a factory short bed on it that I had gotten, but it was black and then I wanted the whole rest of the truck to match with the original bed. So cut that down and put that on there. I uh, made my home back half. Uh, two Optima batteries because it's a diesel. Um, back half I did. There's the AccuAir management up stuffed up underneath here. It's a mess under here. It's, in, it's all work in progress right now. Putting some Dakota digital gauges in this thing. So that's pretty much the walk around of the whole truck. I'm sure I'm missing stuff because I'm constantly doing thing, stuff to this thing. It just, it, it's constantly changing because it's never the way I want it to be. But if you want to see more of this truck, you can uh, follow me on Instagram at Clay underscore Gwen 182, or you can follow me on YouTube, which is kind of, it's hit or miss is very slow with what stuff I do on there because I don't have time to make videos and work on this thing. At the same time, it's, it's pretty hard especially when you're by yourself and you do everything to this thing by yourself. But the YouTube channel is Clay Gwynn. If you want to see more on this truck, uh, just follow me on those two sites. Hey Robert, my name is Matt and this is my 64 C10 project. And it's got a 5.3 4L60 engine stock. I've converted to the front disc brakes and power steering uh, on your recommendation uh, speed engineering headers and oil pan good call torque thrust wheels four and a half inch drop in the front 
five in the back. I removed the cab bed and everything and sandblasted, powder coated the frame and all the suspension parts. And uh, new bushings and everything and brakes and stainless exhaust. The truck's gonna be a patina truck, at least for now. Um, I rehab the steering wheel and uh, not much else in the interior, just a new rubber floor mat. The seat was already recovered when I got it, so. Anyway, this is, uh, this is my C10 project. What's up guys, so it's been a while since you've seen Franken Truck. Still running the 283 small block and the three speed overdrive transmission. I put in a windshield washer and coolant reservoir from an F 150. Quadrajet four barrel. Rusty. But still runs good. Just had to clean her up today from all the pollen. Interior looks pretty much the same, other than I added a 1960 only Chevrolet glove box door emblem. I did put a new radio in it because the dash was already hacked, so why not? The cab corner still messed up from when it got wrecked. This bed is still garbage. One day I'll get a replacement for that, and then this bed will go on my trailer. But the best part about it is the tailgate. It's got some uh, 90s paint job or something on it. I put some reverse lights in it. Got a new trailer hitch on it. Used, but new to me. Still running the uh, rally wheels with trim rings and center caps. I do have some six lug steel, 15 by eight steelies, um, but gotta get new tires for it. My favorite part of the door, traffic survey Atlanta. I added some courtesy lights from a Jeep Cherokee and some door switch harnesses from a um, 67 to 72. I also added some flashers. So now I have emergency flashers. Starts up pretty good, runs good. Got the Black Widow exhaust Venom 250s. Good old daily driver. See y'all later. Do the music.